In the mid-1940s, one young undergraduate had to give up his studies and was called home to help with his father's business. But little did he know that this move would land him with such a significant role in shaping the tourism and property landscape of Kuala Lumpur. Please don't be taken, Lao Yat and me. A lot of people confuse that Lao Yat is me. My name is Lao Yao Chuan. My father is Lao Yat. The young Lao Yao Chuan helped his father build the Federal Hotel, the first international class hotel in the country in time for Merdeka in 1957. From the first hotel Federal we built, we learned how to plan, how to build, how to operate. Hotel industry is a service industry to meet people. It's a labor intensive. I don't know how to handle the hotel worker. In those days, they say, if I go work for you, I have to go back to tell my mama whether they allow me to work in hotel. Following Federal Hotel, Tan Sri Lao Yao Chuan went on to build nine other hotels and various other developments. At that credit, I gave to my late father, who had the foresight vision. After independence, Jumbo Jet coming. There will be a tourism, new country. More and more uh, foreign will come to visit Malaysia. I love building. I study architecture. And I know the drawing in my hobby. Even I take my plan drawing, at night, I take it like it's a, a Bible to read. I enjoy it. Keep me happy. My favorite project is called Pizza Empire Tower. One, but I do prefer Langkawi Country Club because I feel honored, requited by our late Tonko, Papa Malaysia, Jay Yao Chuan. Can you do something for me? Of course, we asked the late Tun Tan Siu Sin to speak to me. Langkawi, can you go? I said, where is Langkawi? I've never been to Langkawi, the island. You are too better. Langkawi, to build a resort hotel for Tonggo. Who dream to have a hotel? Lao eventually went on to build the Langkawi Country Club Resort despite there not being any infrastructure on the island at the time. I nearly drowned two or three times. And, but it was a nice holiday uh, island. Today, Langkawi is flourished. Getting more and more international flight. More and more truly coming. I, Lao Yao Chuan, is the one that developed Langkawi. Today, Lao's empire has grown to be one of the most renowned in the country, but it all started from humble beginnings. We were very poor. In 1930-something, we worked. My father and mother worked very hard. That is what you have today. They are very dear to me. They give me a lot of guidance, especially my father. He had the vision and he foresight to pass over to the family. He bought a lot of land bank, a lot of land. I said, Papa, why you keep on buying land when you don't develop? <laughs> Son, this is for you, or your grandchildren, next time to develop. One idea after another became reality. Eventually, his bold and visionary efforts were recognised by the industry players. One many award, tourism, hotel, waiter council, builder association. I also won some tail tourism award. I'm very out of date now. I can't look forward. 
and the young boy they can think as good as, as the grandfather. He did the way they put the phone that play. I don't know how to play. A computer, everything. In the computer age. Yeah. So, did you consciously groom your children to eventually take over? Yes. I don't want to groom them. They groom themselves. When they were young, they study university in London, Australia. They see how the father work, the grandfather work. They go themselves. They see all the good and the bad thing in the family business. They say in business, only go for three generations. I don't think so. It's how you plan your legacy how you maintain your wealth. I've been telling my four children, even the grandchildren, unite, you take. Divide, you fall. That is my theory. Even today, I just told my elder son, a piece of advice. I think by now, he already got fed up. The <laughs> grandfather is repeating. <laughs> what did you time. say? What did you say? What was the advice? Respect the older and be kind, be generous, and take care of your business. Don't overspend. You spend only if you can make money. If the parent give you one dollar, you make two dollar, then you spend. Then my wife. So what is his hope for the future? I only wish that my Family legacy will go forward. I can't look too far away, and I hope my grandchildren will carry forward of the family image and able to serve the country and to help the poor.